of FSD was trained on the on the Tesla um, racks in Giga Texas because we were told that. Yes. So you know who who knows where the future is going with this. The other thing that we're hearing from, of course, is other CEOs of other companies who share information. Here, this one latest is you've got this uh, CC Way. He's the CEO of TSMC, which is the mm -hmm. leading global semiconductor chip maker in Taiwan. And he said, a few days ago, I spoke with Elon, he, who mentioned that his focus has shifted from cars to humanoids. He also expressed concerns about chip supply. And this guy, Tessiota, says this suggests that TSMC may play a role in supplying chips for Tesla. Um, oh, I thought I have the video here. Uh, I'll go find that video. And yeah, so what do you think about th this guy saying something like that? So, you know, to say that he's moved focus from the cars to Optimus is really, I, I think, maybe, if anything, misleading. My sense is that the chips that he, firstly, the chips that he's talking about are not the chips that we were just talking about in terms of the B200s. These chips from TSMC are inference chips. They're chips that go into the car. They're not the chips used for training. They're chips used for inference. And then they also use the same chips for the bot. The value of these chips is that they use very, very, very small amount of energy compared to the NVIDIA inference chips. So that's the value of them. And that's and 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 the this is the focus for the for for Optimus. The the efficiency of those chips are the real um, differentiator for Tesla between themselves and other bot manufacturers. So that's why Tesla is so focused on getting the next generation of inference chips into production and out and into the bot. So I think that's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple of things. So first of all, so happy to hear, right? That Elon is ahead of the game here, or at least if not ahead of the game, definitely at the top, right? He's oh, way ahead of the game. I mean, the, the Tesla AI4 chip and the Tesla AI5 chip are generations ahead, generations ahead of the chips other auto manufacturers auto uh, uh, OEMs are using. Yeah, so he's, he's secured supplies of the training chips, the so H100s. Uh, we've already famously covered that. H100s, uh, 100,000, 200,000. And then by the time he gets to 200,000, the others are not even close to the 100,000. And then he's uh, there's uh, announcements that they're going to try to get to 1 million in XAI's supercluster. Then you got the GP200s already arriving in XAI. Now you said that, yeah, those are for training. But on the inference side, you've got him talking already to TMC, securing it uh, ahead of time, millions that they need, probably both for the cyber cab and the humanoids. But for him to tell this guy now that, look, I'm focused on humanoids, I'm going to probably need millions of these. Some people are telling me that that is an indicator. That's a sign for you that, you know, that he I, he's expecting to build millions of human. Otherwise, he wouldn't be preparing this guy that I need you to have this many uh, by certain time frames. Yeah, because if you think about the production of humanoids, you're talking in the millions, in the tens of millions, compared to the cars, which you're talking about in the millions. If you get to the tens of millions, it, you know, that's the high end. That's the beginning <laughs> that's for the humanoid robot. So, yeah, I mean, the 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 chip demand is going to be out. Of, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be just crazy. Okay. So so far we've got uh, confirmation or not confirmation. You know, b boasts by Elon that by twenty thirty five, it's all going to be self driving. It's just uh, his confidence is so high. He's already. Um, and now, you know, the, the, you know, you can't take too much out of this because it's just a word of this guy saying he talked yeah. to me and he said this, but it it feels like he's about to secure <laughs> uh, not only the TSMC chips, but of course they're already buying these GP two hundreds and it has arrived physically. So and it's all the name of game I think, for me is compute. There's another yeah. supplier in the mix. He's buying inference chips not only from uh, TSMC, but he's buying from Samsung as well. Mm. So, you know, 
the AI chip that they're putting in the cars were designed by Tesla years ago. They started the program. And, you know, they're now in the third generation. They're about to hit the fourth generation. And and they've already designed, not they've about to, they have hit the fourth generation and they've already designed and the foundry already has the fifth generation. So this is, this is a never ending stream of evolution and innovation. And, you know, Tesla's way ahead of the pack. I mean, way ahead of the pack. And it all boils down to one issue, and that is the use of energy. Tesla chips are yeah. several orders of energy more efficient. efficient, more efficient than the other chips. Yeah, AI5 is uh, targeted, I think, mid-year, 2025. Yeah, well... I think they'll sample them in mid-25. The, the chip is already in the foundry, we're told. And then generally, you know, there's, I mean, it could be a year to full-scale full, full scale production. But, yeah, it's too soon. Going to have to change all our cars again. No, just kidding, just kidding. Just well, kidding. no, no, no. Um, some people are telling me, that this is, again, they're just sharing information of what some people are saying. I don't know how true this is. That what Tesla will do is just completely upgrade everybody the AI fives, everybody. I think it's more than possible that AI five will be a lot more um, upgradable. Uh, AI, AI four will be a lot more upgradable from AI four to AI five. I think there's going to be a very significant cost in upgrading from AI three to AI four. That's my but guess. The cost is minimal when you consider this change, the, the, the leap Absolutely. from a regular car to an, a robo taxi Absolutely capable true. car. Yep. Why don't they just look? We'll upgrade it for you. We'll do it for I, free. We'll, we'll eat the cost. Yeah, I'm alive. So, yeah, every car could be upgraded at some point. We'll see what that is. Interesting. Thank you, Larry. Follow him on his uh, X channel at uh, Tesla Larry. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. I've created a website that is the most comprehensive resource for the Tesla investor. Please check it out. Simply go to my website at herbertong.com.